All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be taking this theme, if we can call this a theme, these three notes, and I'm gonna write like a minute of music or so. The first 10, 15 seconds, it's going to be a love cue that's gonna morph or transition into sadness, then suspense, then tension, kind of like action with intensity, and then adventure villain. Let's go. So, love. In this PDF, we're gonna have suggested tracks, Style definition, step by step. Let's go to the style definition. Uh, so suggested tracks, string to stem piano, full orchestra, must have, useful to have, celesta, violin, staccato, etc. Style definition. Okay, cool. Mostly major modes. Gonna be using triads. It's a very simple, first, kind of like easier to compose a style, in my opinion. It can be challenging for some, depends on your composing ability or composing style. But to me, this is one of the styles that come easily. So as you can see, some extensions. Uh, ninths, things like this. These are the, the resolved suspensions, 9 to 8, 7 to 6, diatonic progressions for harmony. For melody, mostly built around chord tones. Counter melodies are frequent. Tempo and rhythm, basically, if we read through this, it says slow, 3 4 4 4. And when it comes to orchestration, if it's small, we're going to have the string section plus kind of like a lyrical instrument for the melody, as we can see here. And that lyrical instrument is gonna be like a solo woodwind, a piano, a solo you know, horn, something like this. That if it's relatively small. If we go bigger, then we're just gonna make it bigger. We're gonna have a bigger strings accompaniment. And then maybe instead of one lyrical instrument for the melody, see, it says A, B, C, it's from a small to bigger. Small lyrical solo instrument, bigger single string section, bigger combination of lyrical instrument and string section, bigger, you know, the multiple upper string section in unison or octaves, even bigger, adding high woodwinds to D. And then obviously we have you have to compensate with the accompaniment or the background elements in the other instruments. Counter melodies played by horn sections very common, also English horns in the, that kind of like mid register. And if it's kind of like big, and emotional, you can have that, those big uh, fast runs for that ear candy and flutter. All right, cool, awesome. Let's compose some music. So tempo, I'm gonna bring this down to 60, I guess, 65 works. Here we go, so we're gonna record the theme. Again, we said lyrical instrument, piano. Okay, there you go, piano. Melody, diatonic, blah, blah, blah. Diatonic, very simple. Accompaniment, the strings. So we're gonna go for sustained strings. I could have recorded by in one section, two, viola, etc. But just for the sake of faster strings ensemble. And now strings ensemble, lower strings. Maybe an arp for accompaniment. So the piano sounds a little bit to the right. I'm gonna have a, an arp over kind of like the left side. Yep, this works. Since this enhance the melody a little bit with some long do. Overlap because it's legatos, this guy's here. And then we're gonna bring this, this violins to legato, but we're gonna lower this down an octave. Yes, uh, let's uh, see what we can do with the cellos. Just for a thought of emotion towards the end. So transitioning from legato to tremolo. I think we can do maybe pizzicato is G. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. Just for a sense of pulse. This is going to be eight, 60%. Should not be quantizing at 100%.
this will do, in my opinion. Let's transition to sadness. So we've got do re ri. That's the melody. Let's uh, make this sad. Um, let's create a transition. I'm just gonna do something very simple. Flautando. Okay, this is going to be the, the sad section. Let's read the sad slides. For the must have, very similar. For the useful to have, very similar. For the style definition, for tempo and rhythm, slow, three fours, four fours. Okay, very similar. It could go a little bit slower than love. Let's transition to five BPMs less. Not the biggest change, but harmony. Mostly minor triads. Minor triads, root positions, so very similar. Extension, very similar. Result suspensions, very similar. Melody, same thing, but in minor modes. Very similar when it comes to orchestration. Slightly, maybe darker instruments here and there for some conquer melodies, maybe. A sense of grandiose can be added with a choir. And a few more things in regard to orchestration, but that's pretty much it. Let's go for it. If we have the Toreri melody, now, now it's going to be the same thing, but with that flat E. Let's soften, let's see. Yeah, yeah. And they've got this extension that we were talking about, that ninth here, for this. F minor. Cool, let's do this, let's do this. That's a def, no doing. And that's C now too loud. Here, most importantly here. You know what we've read in the PDF is that the sending bass lines are very useful for this style. It's my sustain low strings. We're going to do something like... Oh. Maybe here we could have a, a bow. out here because then we cannot change mode to present the piano in my opinion so let's doim Okay, cool, awesome. So that's the sad section. Let's move to suspense. Suggested tracks, we have, uh, okay, piano sustain, piano. Okay, cool. Tempo and rhythm, moderate. It can use some sort of like Austin other steady pulse, but not too intense. Tempo would range from 65 to 100, so we can bring it up a little bit, maybe. So definition, harmony, play the central role to set the tone and mood of the scene. Okay, cool. Usually minor modes. Okay, that's the same thing we had in, in sadness. Moves it slowly. Sustain pedals and slow chord changes are common. Triads with added notes are frequent. Dissonances and clusters are welcomed. To me, the way I like to define this is like positive emotions, major chords, sadness, minor chords, suspense, same as sadness with a twist, a harmonic twist. Melody can be either short and fragmented, sometimes non-existent. So it's going to be more motivic and less thematic. I don't know if we can go more motivic than three notes, but we'll go for it. If not present, the dissonant harmonic textures will drive the music. So emphasis on those dissonant added notes. Melodically, the same thing with a twist now. Long sustained notes are frequent. Most utilizes dissonant intervals. Most uses foreign and non-traditional modes. Chromatism is frequent. Awesome, love it. Orchestration emphasizes dark tones and textures. 
pedal notes played by the double bass and low winds are frequent, ostinatos, there you go. A little bit more about orchestration, so if percussion, light, the low tone percussions can be added to the ostinato or be used for dramatic hits. Subtle though, because more percussive styles are coming next. Long sustained notes are typically played by the high strings with the support of woodwinds. Okay, those are great ideas, let's go. So I don't like pulses for this style, I prefer the pulse for kind of like more like the tension style, but let's create some some sort of element that kind of like forward moving element. So the chords that we have used is first and then we did Okay, which is basically this guy. Now we're gonna go something like, so it's like um, C minor chord, but instead of G, we're gonna go F sharp for that triton. So then for the G chord, and uh, we're gonna have the double basses and cellos going zoom and then short let me see harmonics are gonna do something like um, yeah kind of more, more eerie kind of so boom so let's go with double basses long notes so at the end of sadness maybe i can add a little bit of a pizzicato here Just for clarity and precision. And then if I did this correctly, I should be able to copy paste these two cellos. Yeah, that works, but too loud, this guy. So we're gonna bring it down just a tad here. Good, yeah, kind of thing. And then the harmonics that we were talking about. Let's see. Okay, melody. Maybe the Celesta's supposed to be doubling this. Maybe, yeah. Dum terarim. Piano still a little bit too loud here. Dum. Let's do something creepy up there, textures. And then gonna have some sort of like, those uh, long notes that were mentioned, harmonics, violin one harmonics. Okay. Uh, let's do a connecting element for the next style, which is going to be tension. Yeah, long notes. Boom. And this guy is going to go here as well. And piano. Boom. And then connect, connect with the next thing. So the notes here are A, G, and the piano are G, F sharp, just for that eeriness and that twist that we were talking about, those uh, dissonances, etc. Let's take a listen so far what we've got. This felt that tad too slow to me, so let's bring it up. And let's start here with love. By the way, the PDFs that I'm showing, we are selling them at the moment for $7. It's 183 pages of recipes, so may as well grab them while we have the offer. 
that's gonna close soon. Let's continue. So now we're gonna go to tension or action mid intensity, which is going to be like suspense, but with a motor, basically. So we're gonna keep those minor chords. We're gonna keep that twist that we're talking about, those dissonant elements in there. The harmonic movements are gonna be slower and it's gonna be even more motivic and less thematic if possible. But the tempo rhythm, that is the central element. So we're gonna have that pulse, basically. It's gonna be faster. Usually super symmetric. That's basically what it says here. Harmony. What I said plays a central role to sustain the tone. Same same thing that we said earlier, but moves it slowly. Sustained pedals, like pulsed pedals, and the slow chord changes are common. Melody, mostly minor modes, follow closely the harmonic material, repeated chord tones and arpeggios are common, more motivic than thematic, and hence the dissonant notes in the harmony, same thing that we said. And then for orchestration, fast ostinatos, that's what we're gonna be doing, 40 pulse, continuous patterns, commonly utilize accented figures in the percussion, yes, we'll do some accents. Okay, so we got the dom, ten, team, thing. And I guess we're gonna use this for violin short. Let's just do lazy. I guess the tempo should go taka taki tiki taki taka taki tiki taki. So this should be something like what? 220? Taka taki This works. So this is gonna go to violins two as well, short notes, and we're gonna record something different. Taka taki tiki taki taka tiki taka dum. Taka tiki taka dum. Something like this. Let's see. So let's repeat this four times. Togo deki, togo deki, togo deki, togo deki, togo deki, togo deki. Viola short notes. Okay, cool. So we've got the pulse for the strings. Let's see. Let's see. It's not perfect, but let me just clean it up just a tad. And I think the double basses could do. Oh, let me just record the switch here real quick. Cool. Awesome. Let's bring this down to the basses, which is just going to do. Here, we're going to replace this guy. No step input. The record. All right, I think it works. Uh, some sort of pulse, I guess this guy here. Yeah, I like this one. So the second repetition as well. We're talking about this. What else? We said percussion, so... Let's do this and duplicate this in the other Tycos. Not good, no bueno. Yep, much better. Rearranged the dynamics a little bit. Let's bring the melody somewhere. We lost the melody. Well, it's in the ostinato. Let's do this. Horns. Said low sustained notes, rock and roll. It said in the slides. So. That works. Let's do. Tremolo. Uh, There you go, melody. I think we have to give it an entrance for the melody. Uh, maybe Titan. Cool. You know what? We're going a little bit into kind of like adventure villain, and I think I can make this a little bit bigger and less pulsing. And we can also, I was going to stop here, but I'm going to do villain. 
Torerim, toca boom, timpani, swells. Toco boom, yeah. Toco reki, toco teki, toco boom, chu, and in. So I think we're gonna do here a time signature. It's gonna be a chu, four, and then we're gonna go back to four, four. So this guy have to do this. Good, and then. That's quite tough. Okay, toco ton. And then I'm gonna timp this guy here. There you go. Monster brass short. Dokotom. And then bam, 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 bam. And here I'm gonna need. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me think. Yeah. Yeah, because this is this like augmented. So yes, so basically that thing, it's going to be just low double basses, tremolo, rumble kind of thing. Yeah. And we should obviously go with uh, where's my cellos, cello long note. Oh, you know what? This timpani hit maybe comes after the note. Boom. Then tim hit. Okay, so yes, we're gonna do this. This hit is gonna go here. So let's 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 write that melody. A little bit late, but that's okay. And let's enhance this with just more brass. Up there, I want some chatter. And I want textures, but short. The last one I don't like. Too repetitive at this point. Monster brass short. I need some percussion here, there. Timpani. Move it. Move it. There you go. I think it works. We could do more and better this last part. But, uh, oh, I did not read. How did I come up with this? Adventure here, adventure villain. Let's see how I followed or not. So big. You know, brass, stuff like this. Hero versus villain. Melody is going to be very chromatic. Extensive use of dissonances, halftone and triton. Uh, see the categorization of intervals here. It's, it's down below. Harmony, mostly minor modes. That's what we did, plus augmented stuff. Here's the categorization of intervals. Yeah, sense of danger. A few more trips and ticks. Okay, let's take a listen to the entire thingy. We've got positive here. Sadness. Suspense. Tension. And uh, adventure villain. I mentioned this earlier, but the PDFs that I'm showing, they're composing recipes. We are running an offer right now: 183 pages of recipes, seven dollars. If you're interested, grab it while we have the offer running. All right, let's continue. Mm -hmm. 